All right, hi, this video is for dimensional analysis setup. So being able to pull out those really big numbers, those important numbers and facts that the problem gives you and being able to complement those with the correct conversion factors to help you land where you need to and get to the correct solution. So let's get started. All right, we got our practice problem here. I'm gonna read it out loud. An IV solution containing two grams of lidocaine and 500 milliliters of D5W is infusing at 15 milliliters per hour. What should the ordered dose be in milligrams per minute? So I've already pulled out, before we do anything, what do we want to end up in? Our units of measurement, we want to end up in milligrams per minute. So we know that as we're working to cancel out different units of measurement, we want to keep these milligrams per minute. So this is what we're focusing on. Although the medication and the infusing fluid is really important, it's not important for this, we're just looking for those numbers. So we'll set it up one by one and we'll get going. So the very first things that I write down is the exact same things that I'm given in the problem. So I'm given that there's two grams in 500 milliliters. I write it down one right over the other, just like we know how to do in all of our problems. Next, we're given that the flow rate is 15 milliliters per hour. So I'm writing that in as well. And I already love what I'm seeing here. It's milliliters and milliliters there on the opposite side. So we know they're going to cancel out when you start multiplying. Um, now I'm going to fill in what I need, what I already do know, but what the problem does not explicitly say. So for example, we know that we're trying to get to milligrams per minute. Right now we're in grams. I don't see any milligrams in here. So I need to turn this into grams. I know how to do that already. So do you. It's 1000 milligrams per every one gram. So I'm going to fill that in. Additionally, we have minutes here. I don't see minutes here, but I see a unit of time. I see an hour. You know how many minutes are in an hour. We're going to put 60 minutes in an hour. So we're just breaking these units of measurement down even further to get to the solution that we need. And then we're going to multiply right across. All right, I've added here that these were our given. We just saw that and that these are our helpful conversions. So I've strategically put them so that I'm going to end in milligrams over, um, over minutes. So we have milligrams on the top and we have minutes on the bottom. If we needed this in a different place or if maybe we were given a different, um, a different given in the question and maybe I had to put milligrams on the bottom and grams on the top, you can flip them. These are, it's the same to say one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. It's the same to say 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. They're, they can be inverted. So now we have exactly what we need. I have 1,000 milligrams over gram. That is going to get rid of this gram over here and instead give us milligrams. And we have minutes in an hour over here that's going to cancel out to this hour. We've got a top and a bottom hour. And we are going to be able to cancel out hours and land on minutes, just like we need in our final problem. So we're going to multiply straight across and then we are going to end with our milligrams per minute so we're almost there all right so i went through and i crossed them all off i crossed out my gram for gram my milliliter my milliliter we just had to make sure that there was one on the top and one on the bottom my hour for my hour and then we were left with milligrams and minutes we took the numbers and multiply them straight across so then you come up with something kind of wacky looking like 2 times 15 times 1000 times 1 which when put in the calculator always put in the calculator we've got 30,000 and on the bottom we have 500 times 1 times 1 times 60 that's down here we've got 30,000 so we put 30,000 over 30,000 we divide with a calculator and we get 1 1 milligram per minute so again, we're gonna look back. Is that logical that it's one milligram per minute? It's looking logical to me. So we are confident that this is our answer and that is how you set up. And you are confident that everything's gonna cross out. You use what you already know to get to the answer that you need to get to.